Hey y'all, happy Friday. Um, so what I'm gonna do today, I wanna do two oracle readings and then a tarot. So this might be a little long today. I'm just trying to see some. Let's see what comes out because I've been doing readings all day and they have been so positive. Um, so let's just see if, if the energy continues. Spirit, what messages do you have for my subscribers for love? What do my subscribers need to know for love? Spirit, what messages do you have for my subscribers regarding love? What do my subscribers need to know? Oh, caught those. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So somebody got romantic feelings for you and you may have romantic feelings for um, someone else too. <clears throat> Then it says, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attracted. So I feel like some of y'all, when it comes to love and relationships, you may lose yourself um, in relationships. So it's like you may uh, <clears throat> pour more into your relationship than you pour into yourself. Um, and it's telling you, like, start putting yourself first. It doesn't mean to neglect your relationship or neglect your lover. Um, but just put yourself first because that's going to, like... Make them love and respect you even more. Because sometimes, like, people all kind of become their partner, if that makes sense. Spirit, what other messages do you have for my subscribers regarding love? What other messages do you have for my, uh, my subscribers regarding love? Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So just be patient because I feel like you already have a really great love coming your way. This says free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Yeah, that's basically what I was saying. Like probably in the past, you put so much into a relationship and neglected yourself. And you may need to start doing like some self-care, pouring some self-love into yourself. Then it says attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Yes, enjoy yourself, pour into yourself, make things about you. And then when you start to build up your self-confidence, you start to understand your self-worth, you're going to attract a really, really, really great love, like a really great love. Okay, so that's what we have for that. Try this other oracle. Spirit, what messages do you have for my subscribers? What do my subscribers need to know today, Spirit? Please give clear, accurate messages. Bitch, y'all are not going to believe... I gotta stop cussing at y'all. Y'all are not going to believe this. Guess what just popped out? Self-love. And I'm going to take it even though I'm not finished shuffling. But this is a message for y'all. Some of y'all are not pouring into yourself. Some of y'all need to master the art of truly, truly, truly loving yourself. This says, I am still trying to heal. Yeah, heal your heart. Don't rush into anything new just yet. Because love is going to come. Love is going to come, baby. Trust me. Spirit, what messages do you have for my subscribers? What do they need to know? What messages do you have for my subscribers? What do they need to know today, Spirit? up in a really good mood y'all like a really good mood and before y'all start with me no it has nothing to do with hoochie daddy i just woke up in a really really good mood and the crazy thing is i received like semi bad news this morning but i ain't even letting it bother me like at all at all spirit what messages do you have for my subscribers what do my subscribers need to know today what messages do you have for my subscribers what do my subscribers unsatisfied i wasn't happy the way things were going so whatever relationship you were in i don't feel like you were truly happy yeah you love the person but like i said i don't feel like you were truly happy with this person spirit what messages do you have for my subscribers what do my subscribers need to know today chemistry i have never felt a passion this intense i feel like y'all are going and guess what it clarified worth waiting for Y'all are going to meet somebody and the chemistry is going to be fucking insane. Y'all gonna love when they take you to pound town. <laughs> Spirit, what messages do you have for my subscribers? What do my subscribers need to know? What messages do you have for my subscribers? What do my subscribers need to know today? What messages do you have? 
dishonesty by lying i ripped us apart so somebody from your past is taking accountability and letting you know that um them being dishonest them being deceptive is the reason why you two fell apart Spray, what other messages do you have for my subscribers what do my subscribers need to know today spirit what other messages missed opportunity i didn't act when i should have yeah so somebody from your past is really taking accountability and and letting you know like they are the reason things ended between you two they allowed this to be a missed opportunity they were deceptive to you um and they should have did more when they had the chance spirit what other messages do you have for my subscribers what do my subscribers need to know today spirit this says hope I haven't given up on us yet. So this past person think they coming back. <laughs> Spirit, what other messages do you have for my subscribers? New chapter. I am trying to move on. Yeah, I feel like a lot of y'all have a new chapter coming. Y'all have a new person coming in. Damage. We are both hurting from this. Um, I don't know why I just heard. No, you're fucking hurting from this. I feel like some of y'all are healing but the person from the past is just like holding on to your energy. But it's you're like, no, I don't want to be damaged no more. Like I'm working on myself. And that's why that self-love came out twice. Unworthy. You're a better person than I am. Yeah, so they felt like they wasn't even good enough for you. You probably know that shit too. Then it says runner. I don't want to run anymore. Unfortunately, I think it's too late because I feel like... Um, Y'all going to meet somebody new. I really feel like y'all going to meet somebody new. And um, it's going to be a love of a lifetime. And I don't feel like um, you really give a hell about this old person anymore. Like, I just don't. I, I really don't. Uh, some of y'all may want to take this old person back. That's up to you. But for the most part, I feel like you should do what this says. And it says it's worth waiting for. So work on yourself. Heal yourself. And then you're going to get the love of a lifetime. But if you want this past person... They're tired of running. They they're telling you they um, are owning up to their mistakes. So do with that what you, what you will. Let's get into some tarot. I hope y'all like this reading. What messages do you have for my subscribers? What do my subscribers need to know today, Spirit? What messages do you have for my subscribers? Please give clear, accurate messages for my subscribers. What do they need to know today, Spirit? It's so gloomy outside, but I still feel like I'm in a good mood. I don't know, maybe because my bob is bobbing today. <laughs> we'll see. Spirit, what messages do you have for my subscribers? What do my subscribers need to know today, Spirit? What messages do you have for my subscribers? Nine of Cups, wishes and dreams coming true. So it's ready to be a wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups can also represent someone single. Um, this also tells you to pay attention to your dreams. Your money is about to be looking good. This can also be a fertility card sometimes. Then you have the four of pentacles. So the four of pentacles means that somebody is holding on to you, whether energetically, physically, mentally, whatever. And remember I said with that oracle, like your ex is not trying to let you go. Bitch, guess what, y'all? I get so excited. The bottom of the deck, ace of wands. I told y'all, y'all have new love coming in and it's going to be very passionate. Y'all gonna like the sex. It may start off sexual as well, but let's, let me keep going. Spirit, what other messages do you have for my subscribers? What do you, my subscribers need to know today? What messages do you have for my subscribers? Eight of Cups. Walking away from something you once loved and once was passionate about. Some of y'all might really 
all the way walk away from this um, person from the past. Some of y'all may even do like some sort of a cord cutting um, just to release them all the way because you feel like they keep holding on to you. They are tapping into your energy and it's like you're getting tired of it. Spirit, what other messages do you have for my subscribers? What do my subscribers need to know? Seven of Wands. So Seven of Wands means that Either you block someone, they blocked you, or spirit is blocking this connection altogether. Or some of y'all have your guard up and you need to let it down so you can allow new love to come into your life. Spirit, tell me about this nine of cups. Why is the nine of cups here? Tell me about the damn. This past person right make me kick their ass. Like, what is going on? Six of cups. Six of cups represents the past. So somebody from your past keeps. Um, reminiscing about how good things used to be between you two. Um, they miss all the good times you share. Um, they keep thinking about the sex because this can be a very sexual card. <laughs> um, but for some of y'all, and I feel like this is just like a very small, like one, two percent of you. Um, if you were dealing with someone from the past and it didn't work out and they had children I, and they may have chose their children, mother or children, father over you, um, it's not out of love. It's just because they felt like staying, they were staying because of the kids, because they felt like that was the right thing to do. Mind you, that's not everybody's story. However, whoever this past person is, is heavily reminiscing about you and they're coming forward soon. Then you also have the four cups. Four cups represents, um, contemplating so they are heavily thinking about reaching out to you so you may have been thinking about them a lot lately that's because they're really pulling on your energy they're just trying to practice the conversations to see what they're going to say to you and what you're going to say back because they do not want this to be a missed opportunity and if i can recall correctly in the oracles it says something about a missed opportunity spirit tell me about this four of pentacles why is the four of pentacles here today so you have the hermit and the king of pentacles so somebody is in hermit mode trying to get their shit together this lets me know that you two are separated um and remember i said this clarify the four of pentacles four of pentacles means that somebody is holding on to you whether energetically physically mentally whatever um they're going deep within doing a lot of self-reflection probably tapping into their spiritual side so you're really trying to figure out how to get their shit together um with the king of pentacles this is someone who is ready to like settle down they the king of pentacles is typically someone that's very generous that is a provider um wants to be married or, or is married um has children just overall typically a good person but king of pentacles can be a workaholic um with this hermit card here to this king of pentacles some of y'all are meant to take some sort of class or go to college learn some sort of skill that you can turn into a business that's going to make you a lot of money Spirit, tell me about this Eight of Cups. What? Damn. Page of Wands. Somebody want to take y'all to pound town. Somebody, listen, listen. This person missed the sex between you two. So they may send you a sexual or flirty text. Um, and it's like with this Eight of Cups, you trying to walk away. They like, uh-uh, bring that ass here. No, 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 no. Give it to me one more time. Oh, how that song go? Hit me, baby, one more time. My happiness is killing me. Isn't that Britney Spears? Yeah. Um, they want to hit it one more time. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Seven of Wands is clarified by the Eight of Swords. Remember I said the Seven of Wands, either you blocked them, they blocked you. Spirit is blocking this connection altogether or y'all are just being guarded. Clarified by the Eight of Swords. So somebody is in their head overthinking. And for some reason, I think that it's you. It's like... You don't know what to do. It's like you're one foot in, one foot out. I'm so surprised the nine of wands is not here. Um, but it's like you're overthinking the situation. Like, is it worth going back down this road with them again? If I go back down this road, are they going to fuck me over? Are they going to break my heart? Are they going to ghost me? Or will we actually get married? Would this be a committed relationship? Is this the person I'm going to have kids with? It's like your mind is running 100 miles per hour. Bottom of the deck, magician. Um, this could be a new person manifesting you or could be a past person or both. Spirit, tell me about the six of cups and four of cups. Why is the six of cups and four of cups here? Two of cups. This person is your twin flame. They love you. They feel like you two have a very strong, powerful connection. They feel like y'all have amazing sexual chemistry. Um, they love you. They want to be in a relationship with you. And for some, they want to marry you. 
Tell me about this Hermit card and the King of Pentacles. Why is the Hermit card and the King of Pentacles here? Oop, shit. Two of Wands. Somebody is planning something. That's why they're in Hermit mode. They're planning something. They're planning to come back to you. They're planning on probably offering you some sort of love commitment. They are planning something. They want to give y'all the world and a little D or a little poom poom because it's like a lot of sexual cards here. Um, but yeah, they're planning something. Some of y'all may be seeing um, 999. So look up that angel number. Here, tell me about the page of wands. Why is the page of wands here? Chariot card. Chariot card represents forward movement. Somebody ready to come and get you. Like, they're not playing no games with you. It, it, you know, it clarified the page of wands. Like I said, they missed the sex. They're not playing with you. They Here they come. They, they're ready to come. They don't care if you're walking away because you walking this way and they're going to follow you. They, I just heard motorcycles. So I don't know if some of y'all dealing with somebody with a motorcycle. And I think I said that for y'all before. I don't know. But um, somebody may be ready to go on a motorcycle and come and get you. Um, somebody may be ready to fly to you, drive to you. I don't know, but somebody is coming forward. And if there were any obstacles standing in the way of y'all being together, um, they're going to overcome those obstacles. Spirit, tell me about this Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Eight of Swords, remember I said that you probably were in your head or somebody's in their head. It's clarified by the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords represents something over and done with. So for some of you, I feel like you may completely end this. But for others of you, and I feel like it's a majority of you, y'all may have been dealing with somebody that was either married or in a relationship with someone else. And I feel like um, they are ending it with that person. Because look, Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck, they're trying to heal from something. Spirit, tell me about this Two of Cups. Why is the Two of Cups here? Tell me about the Two of Cups. Why is the Two of Cups here, Spirit? Emperor. Yeah, they want to marry you. They want to marry you. But, like I said, some of y'all <clears throat> may have two people because you have the King of Pentacles here and the Emperor. Emperor and the King of Pentacles is pretty much similar to me. However, the King of Pentacles got way more money than the Emperor. <laughs> Emperor is a good man, would be a great father, um, would settle down, get married. And he's good with business, but when it comes to them coins, I don't know, the King of, the King of Pentacles is winning. Tell me about the Two of Wands. Why is the Two of Wands here, Spirit? Page of Cups. Page of Cups represents um, an apology or a heartfelt message. So this person definitely wants to reach out to you. So some of y'all can expect to receive a message from them. Tell me about the Chariot card. Why is the Chariot card here? Tell me about the Chariot card. Why is the Chariot card? Okay, I'm not taking all these cards. I don't know. I think I'm going to take them. I don't know why I'm taking all these cards, but I got to take them because I'm going to tell y'all why I'm going to take them. <laughs> Woo! Ace of Wands, new love. Y'all have new love coming in. I'm trying to tell y'all. And it's going to sort of all passionate and sexual, but it may go to distance. Um... And it was clarified by the chariot. Chariot represents forward movement. So somebody new is coming in. Now. And whoever it is stalks you a lot. <laughs> With this page of swords, they stalk you. This person already knows you. Whether you know this or not, or whether you know them, I don't know. But with this page of swords, they know you and they're coming forward. And with the Seven of Pentacles, they're going to put a lot, they're going to invest a lot into this relationship with you. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I kind of like this for y'all. So I feel like some of y'all are going to walk away from this um, past person and y'all going to move forward with someone new. Now, for those of you who, um, what am I trying to say, who is going to consider being with the person from the past, with this Ace of Wands, it lets me know that they missed the sex between you two. Page of Swords means that they stalk you a lot, like a whole, whole, whole lot. And I don't know why I'm seeing the King of Swords in my head. Um, because the King of Swords is the biggest stalker out of all the kings, but they'll just stalk you from like a fake account. And with this Ace of Swords right here, Ace of Swords, y'all know this is my adult conversation card. This is my communication and clarity, my truth card. So the person from the past, their heart is just stalking you and not talking to you. So they want to come back and have a conversation with you. They want to put all the cards out on the table. They want to tell you the truth. So whatever answers you were looking for that you were seeking, baby, you're going to get it. <laughs> 
So remember what they say, be careful what you ask for, what you wish for, because you're going to get it. Not saying that it's going to be bad. I don't know. But with this um, Seven of Pentacles, it tells you like, hey, I already invested a lot into this shit. We are locked in. If we locked in, ain't no switching up. Yeah. So they telling you like we're locked in. You're not going away. I'm not letting you go. You're not switching up on me. I'm not switching up on you no more. Like, we're going to do this. I'm ready. And that's why they are coming forward with this um, chariot card. And the Ace of Swords, for timing, you may hear from them within a week or so. Bottom of the deck, you have the star card. Star card represents healing. They look at you as a star. They stalk you a lot on social media. Like I just said, they want a future with you. Spirit, tell me about this Ten of Swords. Why is this Ten of Swords here? Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here, Spirit? Damn, hold on, y'all. Okay. So, Ten of Swords was clarified by the Five of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. So, some of y'all... Hold on, let me look at these cards real quick. Some of y'all were dealing with a... Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, or a Cancer, or an Aries, okay? And some of y'all are probably a fire sign, a, what is it, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be, but I know how some of y'all like the signs. Um, And I feel like, okay, so what's going on? So this clarified the Ten of Swords, right? Ten of Swords means something over and done with. I feel like, okay, if, whoever y'all were messing with from the past, I feel like things ended between you two. Because one, they may have ghosted you, they may have abandoned you, made you feel rejected, left you out in the cold, or they could have just started talking to your ass crazy. But they see you as the queen of wands. They see you as someone that is very beautiful. They feel like a lot of people want you. Um, <clears throat> they feel like you're probably outdating other people and they don't like it. That's why they're ready to rush in. Um, they feel like you are very powerful, sexual, um, you don't, spiritual, you don't hide anything you're into. You're probably really freaky. That's why all these sex cards keep coming out. It's like you do it for them. You do it for them. And um, they're tired of not having you right now. Look, Knight of Cups, they are coming in. Spirit, what is the final likely outcome for my subscribers in either a new person or an old person? What is the final likely outcome for my subscribers for love? What is the final likely outcome for my subscribers for love? Moon card. Once again, somebody stalks you on social media. Um, somebody has deeper feelings for you than they have let on. Um, somebody feels drawn to you. They don't know why. And that's because you you two are twin flames. Moon card can also represent secret or hidden things. So I see what's going on with that. Spirit, tell me about the moon card. Why is the moon card here? Tell me about the moon card. What? Queen of Pentacles. Listen, this person is your divine counterpart. <laughs> This person is your, you got the King of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles. Um, now, the Moon card, the Queen of Pentacles clarify the Moon card. So I feel like two things. One, I feel like with this Queen of Pentacles, they often took, they took you for granted. They did. Whether they want to admit it or not, that could be something they're hiding. But at the bottom of the deck is the two of swords. So they, for some of y'all, they may have had you in a third party situation because at first you were showing up as the Queen of Wands. Um, and that's how they see you. So you could be embodying both of these energies, but let's just see. Spirit, tell me about this Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Oh, okay, listen. Remember in a little while ago, I said, if they were dealing with someone else, they probably had left that person. Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. They, okay, so if y'all are not embodying both energies of the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands, then with this um, Queen of Pentacles, they may be walking away from whoever this Queen of Pentacles is um, or getting a divorce or something like that. Um, I don't know why I'm hearing Gregory, so I don't know if y'all know somebody named Gregory or dealing with somebody named Gregory. Your name is Gregory. I don't know. Um, that was very weird. <laughs> that was very weird. I don't know. Who the fuck is Gregory? Okay, anywho, so they may be leaving this ten, this Queen of Pentacles. So they just feel like dealing with this person is just a burden. Or this could be your energy where you just feel like this person comes with so much baggage and they're starting to realize it and they no longer want to be burdensome to you. 
Um, so with the six of pentacles, it's like in the past, they may have been breadcrumbing you, but now they want to start giving. They want to reciprocate because like I said, with the queen of pentacles, they may have taken you for granted. So now they want equal give and take. <clears throat> um, eight of wands re represents communication. So y'all may receive a text from them or a DM within the next eight days. And remember you did have, um, the ace of swords, which represents a weak time and for communication as well. So y'all have two major communication cards that came out here give me one final messages for my subscriber one final message from my subscriber for love one final message from my subscriber for love. damn not a sword somebody is in their head about something somebody is listen your person is stressing out they are sitting in regret and guilt right now a uh, part of them feels like I pray to God that I have not lost my subscribers for good. They may feel like they lost you for good and it's stressing them out. But look, at the bottom of the deck, you have the death card. So something ended, whether they ended something with someone else or they ended something with you. Tell me about this nine of swords. Why is the nine of swords here, spirit? Tell me about the nine of swords. Five of wands. Listen, I feel like they're going to come back and, and fight for you. They're They're going to fight for you because... They feel like you're out here dating with that queen of wands. Um, they're going to come back and fight for you. They're not letting you go. Tell me about this five of wands. I said one more card and here I am still pulling. Tell me about this five of wands. Why is the five of wands here? Three of wands to the four of swords. Oh, and the nine of pentacles. Listen, somebody is single. Was the nine of pentacles already out? I can't remember. If not, I'm going to talk about it again. Somebody is becoming single because the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles rep represent somebody is becoming single. Nine of Pentacles means that this person looks at you as marriage material. This person feels like you're the perfect type for them. This person feels like you are very beautiful. And the Nine of Pentacles typically is. Nine of Pentacles is pretty much the Empress. The only thing, the only difference between the Empress and the Nine of Pentacles is the, the Nine of Pentacles, the person in, I'm sorry, the Empress is typically in a committed relationship or married. Nine of Pentacles is typically single. But both of them are more than likely entrepreneurs, um, very nurturing, caring, good with business, finances, doing good. Like the nine of pentacles have it all except for the marriage or the relationship. Four swords, somebody is healing. So I feel like right now they're healing, but they're coming back because the three of wands, some of y'all may have been manifesting this person. Um, and the three of wands represents yes. It represents confirmation. If you ask if my person is coming back, the answer is yes. But the three of wands also represents patience. So just be patient because your ship is coming in. Bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Pentacles. They want it all with you, okay? Um, they they just they want to give you the world. They want to provide you with, with nothing but happiness, joy, abundance. Like your money's gonna be looking good, your career is gonna be looking good. You're gonna have the love of your life. You're gonna have the family. Quite a few of y'all ass is gonna get pregnant. I'm telling you. But this person is not playing. They're not letting you go. But y'all are going to have a new love. And I feel like this person from the past is going to, um, they're not letting you go easily. Like, they're going to fight for you. So, guys, I hope that this helps. This was a really beautiful reading. Um, so, yeah, I'll be posting it shortly.